vampire. And how long have you been a vampire for? Quite a long time. Um, just been getting on with things, really. I mean, it's not, it's not all a walk in the park. So, what is it like being a Slayer? It, it's great, I suppose, if you like maiming and killing, which I do. I mean, not all... It's great, <laughs> yeah. Good job. Do you eat people? Well, sometimes, you know, uh, tasty ones at least. It's just a a bit of a habit I've had, you know. I mean, I got over it for a little while, but recently I sort of eat people again. Is there any demon hunters or slayers out there that Im inspire you to do what you're doing? Yeah. Are you working hard to stop eating people? Well, when you say hard, I, I wouldn't say I've been sort of trying really hard. But, a little bit, I mean, you know, who likes eating people? <laughs> Is it true that you were married to a slayer? Well, when you say married... We, we, well, we got talking, I suppose, while waiting for respective people to help us. And... He's really actually quite sweet. Um, we, we like the same books, we like the same movies. We both like killing people. Well, think, I, no, no, I said that again. Oh. I mean, she was, she was hot. Um, yeah. you can, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, well, what is it that drew you in about Clive? What, what is it that you like about him? Um, he's got great hair. I certainly respected her, uh, but yeah, she was hot. He likes to eat people, and every every now and, and then it just started started to build up like one too many. Oh, sorry, honey, I was just eating her. Um, and yeah, you've really just got to say enough is enough. And then there was the whole. And so, I, like, once in a while, I would like to be brought coffee in the morning rather than, oh, you, why do you keep getting on at me? You know that it'll just turn me into a big bit of dust. Oh, no, sorry, I can't pick Chris up from school. Oh, you know that'll just turn me into a big bit of dust. I mean, how many times can I growl? You're the same excuse before you. I just didn't work out. We do, yeah. I mean, I suppose that's why I've tried to keep on the straight and narrow, really, for the boy, you know. I mean, I, I don't know where I'd be without him. Uh, I just want to be a good dad to him, really, but uh, it's not proven to be that easy. Clive and Chris get along really well, and I'm not going to stop them having a father-son relationship. You don't want, no mother wants their son to be brought in to a situation where you, you have to say, sorry honey, dad's off eating someone right now. He can't pick you up or, oh sorry honey, your dad can't make your baseball game because he's a vampire. But really, I mean, it's, it's a thing. Um, it's a thing. And Maybe not just like his dad, uh, but um, with my values, um, hopefully, you know, he can he can turn out to be a good boy. And what are your values? Well, uh, apart from the eating people, I mean, you know, I, I just try to be a good person, a, a good role model for my son, you know, without the brutality, of course. Uh, that comes to be expected, you know, when your dad's a vampire.
And how do you feel about your ex-wife's new boyfriend, the demon hunter, Van? Do you feel he's replacing you with your son? Um, well, I'm not, I'm not his biggest fan, I must admit. Uh, I think he's a bit of a he's a bit of a waste of space to be honest, to be honest. He's quite famous, you know, in the hunter circle. What's he done? Killed Dracula. <laughs> that's pretty big. I mean, as as far as it goes, that's that big one. But I mean was in a coffin during the day. So it's not that and it, he killed him. I mean, that's a big one. I don't want to use profanity in this interview, but I'm not his biggest fan. Um, my, you know, my lover, or my past lover, thinks he's amazing. That's that's enough of an insult for me. Do you love Van? Of course, I love Clive. Uh, fan. You said fan, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Do you feel persecuted? Well, society has made it quite difficult for me to fit in. Uh, but I do my best, you know. I'm not a saint. But I'm getting there. What do you think of supernatural human integration? Do you agree with it? Or do you think the supernatural should stay where they are, hidden? Oh, oh, you mean like coming out? Well, it makes my job a lot harder with with this integration crap. I don't think I can walk down the street or or kill someone without someone being noticed. You know, not given the privileges that I deserve. Uh, I really enjoy smashing cars. It's a dangerous world out there. But society doesn't treat me the way. In recent media, they're saying there has been a rise in young teenage girls uh, falling in love with vampires. What, what is your opinion on this? Do you have any advice for these young girls? Stay away. That's the best advice I can give. Oh, um, they're idiots. I mean, oh, Edward Cullen has a lot to answer for. I'm, I'm just. Edward Cullen is not a vampire. Just getting it out there. They will not come, if they come into your room at night, in the middle of the night, they do not want to, to just watch you sleep. They want to bite your neck and suck your blood out. If a vampire walks into the bar you're working in, they do not want to just hold hands and skip along with daisies. They want to rip your throat out and suck your blood. These bimbos and idiots who just keep throwing themselves at these vampires. <sighs> They're all game to it. They all love a bit of vampire. They just can't resist it. But uh, I'd say teenage vampires taking a few seconds out. I'm not saying that they're. I'm not saying that they're asking for it. But if you go to a vampire bar, or a vampire club, or make dreamy and goo goo eyes at the vampire sitting in your maths class, you deserve to get bitten. Just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. Do you think, yes. if you had the chance to go back and tell your younger self the advice you've just given these girls, you wouldn't have followed through with Clive? Clive is different. And 
thing out. Why do you think a day in the life of should follow you? What's so important about your story? Well, I mean, I, I, I sort of fight against the, the sort of ignorance of society every day. I mean, they should see what it's like to, to be in my shoes. It's, like I say, it's not a walk in the park at all. And I mean, it might be easy for me to, to say that I attack people and stuff like that, but, you know, it's a survival instinct. And um, I only do it because I have to, and slightly because I enjoy it. Uh, but, I mean, I think you can't find a much more versatile person to follow than me. And you'll like my son too, he's a diamond. Thank you very much. You got no time for the messenger.